Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 5, Section 3, Number 15, which reads, Alan drives an average of 100 miles each week. His car can travel an average of 25 miles per gallon of gasoline. Alan would like to reduce his weekly expenditure by $5. Assuming that gasoline costs $4 per gallon, which equation can Alan use to determine how many fewer average weeks M he should drive each week. I said that twice. Anyway, so looking at your answer choices, this is one where, hey, how do you get it started off the ground? Usually for a question like this, you're doing stoichiometry, question asked about miles, you know miles gotta be in the top, but miles is already in all the answer choices. But notice it says that he wants to reduce his weekly expenditure by $5. So you might expect five to be on the other side of the equation. Notice in answer choice A and C, it has 95 on the other side of the equation, beside the fact that how would you get a 95 there? The only thing you could do with the numbers up top to get a 95 is do 100 miles each week minus $5, but it doesn't make any sense at all to subtract $5 from 100 miles each week. So anyway, we can narrow it down to B and D based on that. Now, five is a dollar's unit. He wants to uh, reduce his weekly expenditure by $5. So we know we need dollars on the top. So what from the question has dollars in it? $4 per gallon. So it looks like $4 per gallon, $4 is gonna be in the top. It looks like the answer is gonna be D and then if we're doing stoichiometry, what do we got rid of? We've got to get rid of the G, gallons. What from up top has gallons in it? Notice 25 miles per gallon. And so 25 miles is going to be in the bottom and G is going to be in the top. So you could cancel the Gs. And then if you multiply that by the number of miles, you'd cancel the M. You'd be left with a dollars unit and it equals five. So it works out for over 25 Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficult with these stoichiometry type questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, you can leave that in the comments as well. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.